Welcome to Sledder Series, you guys. Dave Nerona, Skidoo Ambassador, and today I'm here to talk to you about a rad new product from none other than Brett Rasmataz Rasmussen. That's right, the godfather of sledding, Skidoo Ambassador, and a really good friend of mine. And that's why this year I'm running one of his products that he's helped develop, develop the Sala King uh, Ski Dampener. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the ski damper on your sled and what it does for those who are new to knowing what a ski damper is. Between your ski and the spindle, you have a rubber ski damper and that prevents the ski from either tipping up or moving forward and it controls that ski. In 2020 with the Expert, we stiffened it up and boy did that make a huge difference of making the sled uh, side hill better, be more direct and give you the rider more control. So this goes one step further. There are a few issues with a lot of ski dampers on the market. Number one, when they use rubber in the, in the cold climates, it really stiffens up, which is great, but it softens up in the warmer conditions or after a lot of use. I've also had experience where they popped out. If you hit something or hit a tree and uh, it hit the bottom of the ski, they can pop out and they never really go back in the way that they were originally uh, put in there. So this solves a lot of that to those issues. This is a full polyurethane uh, ski dampener. So number one, it is um, doesn't change with temperatures. So it stays the same in the coldest winter climates to the warmest winter climates. So that's very cool. The other thing is, is many of you know that you can run on 2017 to 2021 uh, front ends of uh, free rides and summits basically came in at if you run the ski centered in the middle of the ski the spindle that runs at 37 and on the outside it'd be 38 and on the inside it's 36 so a lot of people run them centered to keep it centered over that rubber because the rubber is quite narrow it only sits in the middle of the ski now with 2022 and the expert with the 34 front end if you want to run 34, you're on the inside, 35 in the middle, and 36 on the outside. When it's running on the outside, you, it's only half of this spindle, so the spindle's only just touching it, and therefore it's not, it doesn't give you as much control as if running centered. Well, the great thing about this is it runs the full width of the ski, so it doesn't matter if you run them on the inside, centered, or on the outside, you're going to get the same control. And these just drop in super easy, it's about a five minute job. And of course, you can order them up at riderasmussenstyle.com. We'll see you out in the backcountry. Dude, look at the packaging. It's made of wood. This is so cool. You can either burn it in the fire or put it on your wall. This is going up on the wall. This is going somewhere on the wall. It's going right there on the wall. <laughs>